Hey Trombones, welcome back for another video for Accent Book 1, page number 26. In today's page, we're learning all about the DS, which stands for Dal Segno, Al Fine, and that means you go back to the sign and play to the Fine in a piece of music that uses a DS Al Fine. We'll get to use one of those at the end of today's page. But first, we're gonna get started with our climbing clarinets, the clarinet climb. This piece, number 98, uses some fermatas. That means we're gonna hold the note a little longer. Today, we're gonna hold our fermatas for four beats. So a half note plus a half note, four beats. Let's do it, number 98. And one, two, one, two, half note G. Great. That one made us really focus on whether we were playing our A naturals or our A flats. I hope you noticed that as well. There were some times when we played our A in second position and sometimes where we needed to play it in third. All depends on the key signature. Next up, it's time for It's Raining, It's Pouring. This is a traditional song and it's marked as a duet here. We'll play part A and we'll play it with the repeat because of the repeat sign at the end of the song. So let's play It's Raining, It's Pouring. Ready? One, two, three, four. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Great. You can rewind and you can try part B, the clapping part, by simply just rewinding the video a bit, counting in the count off, and seeing if you can clap part B while I play part A. Next up is number 100. We've hit it. Song 100, a Korean folk song called Ariang. This is two lines long and it has B flats, E flats, and A flats. So remember those E's and A's in third position. Also, speaking of three, we're in three, four time. And we're gonna use our dotted quarter notes that we learned about on page 25. Remember that a dotted quarter note is one and a half beats. And we'll count that one and two. And the reason we count that like that, one and two, is because a dotted quarter note is equal to three eighth notes joined together. Let's try number 100, Ariang. One and two and three, ready and set and go. <laughs> Ba 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 
Great. I'd like to try that one one more time. You really need to know your slide positions to make sure that you're moving through them fast enough. Let's give it a shot one more time. Ready? One, two, here we go. One, two, three, ready, ready, go. <laughs> And I hope you did great on that the second time around. If you need to go slower, pause the video and get out a metronome and try working it a little bit slower. You'll be glad you did because you'll, get make, you'll make some great progress and you'll be proud of yourself. 101, Ode to Joy from Symphony No. 9 by Ludwig van Beethoven is going to use our DS Dal Segno Al Fine. And here's how it works. We'll play all of line one and all of line two. Then, DS Al Fine. Go back to that sign in measure five and then play to the word Fine in measure nine. So let's play Ode to Joy by Beethoven. Here we go, B flats, E flats, and A flats. And one, two, ready, go. What a joy to play Ode to Joy. Next and finally is number 102, Accent on Creativity, Free Improvisation. It says, using the five pitches below, improvise your own melody, using the rhythms you know. You may play these notes in any order, repeat notes, or even use rests. So you are free to improvise using those five notes to create the melody for you and share it with someone around you and show them that you can create in, and improvise freely using those five notes. And until I see you in our next video, keep practicing.